Because you started getting pain once I restrung the racket, correct? Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? We have a new grip. Huh? It doesn't matter. It's an old it's school scary. technique. Anna, you ever seen this? No, the new grip. No, Under nothing. Nothing, nothing going to happen to the grip, Anna. Don't worry about it. I'm just loosening your strings. I'm taking care of your elbow. What were you asking me? Is it good to play with a bandage? I think it's probably good. I don't know. Try it. Yeah. Yeah. They There's, wear some like they do. strip here. Yes, or yes. Here. I'm not sure. But I think if we trace back what's happened, when you got this racket restrung, that's when your arm started hurting, correct? I think so. Okay, so we loosened the strings a little bit here, Anna. This is going to feel better and it's going to help your tennis elbow a little bit. Good. Good. Okay. Good, Anna. Good. Again, come. Better. Attack it, Anna. Go. Remember, put the racket to the side a little bit earlier. When you, yeah, when you're running up, racket to the side here. Yeah. Come. Go again. Good. Anna, I like it. Come on. Turn. Okay, turn more on the back end and wait. Hold it. Good. Be patient on the back end. Hold it longer. Don't open up too early, okay? Good. Good forehand. Come on. Again, open racket face here. Good. Back inside. Attack it, Anna. Go. Come, come, come. Good try. Good. Much better. Make sure you recover back to the baseline. Don't get stuck in the inside the court. Good. Up, up, up. And I recover. Back it up. Okay, come. Up. And recover. Back it up. Good work. Get up there. Go, Anna. Go. And good try. All right. You, those low ones, you, those low balls, you still try to put some spin, okay? Go up to the shoulder more. Up with the racket. Good work. Backhand. And attack it, Anna. Go. Drag it to the side. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Good. Good. Come back in. Go again. Hold it longer. Hold. Hold. Two things. Set yourself up better so you're in a good place. Sometimes you're a little too jammed, too tight. And also, don't rush it. Hold longer to accelerate. You gotta wait a little bit longer on your backhand. Yeah. And then just let it go from there. It's gonna be fine. Yes! Yes! Ah, a little bit back here. It's okay. Again. Wild. That's the old Anna. Just a wild slap shot. Way out. Yeah. It's the old slap shot, okay? We got to put some control, clean up that finish a little bit, okay? Better. Okay, backhand. Again, backhand. Come on, turn more, set yourself up. Attack. Keep attacking, Anna, go. And I'll take it in the air. Take it in the air. In the air. Okay, continental grip, please, on the overhead. Continental. And get into the trophy phase, trophy position on the overhead. Come closer. Better. Do it again. Same thing. Trophy, please. Beautiful job, Anna. Nice overhead. Very good. Keep your, well, keep your feet moving, though. Don't expect the ball to be right to you. Keep moving a little bit. Okay, again. On trophy. 
You have the racket too far away from your head. Keep it a little bit closer in the trophy face, closer to your head. Oh, okay. All right, how about this, Anna? Lob, run it down. The lob is when it goes lob. over your head too high. You can't do an overhead. And it's back, so I have to run back? Exactly. But, yeah, see what, but, but, but you know what a lot of people do? They attempt to hit an overhead anyway. So they don't judge the height of the lob properly and they try to attempt an overhead when the overhead is impossible. And then they end up making a mistake, obviously. So it's ball recognition. You have to recognize that the lob is too high for an overhead, you won't be able to reach it. And then just not attempt an overhead, just run back, let the ball bounce, and do a forehand or a backhand, ideally a forehand. Okay. Does that so make how, sense? How, well, it does, but like, how do you run back? With the trophy position, like well, this is a run? great question. The first thing you do is you turn around. Keep your eye on the ball. Okay. If you lose the ball in the air, you're going to get disoriented. So you have to keep your eye on the ball. Right, it makes sense. Okay, and when you run back, you have to run next to the ball, not under the ball. Let me show you. So this is the most common mistake when people get lobbed. And they run underneath the ball like this, Anna, look. And now they have to go this way. That's all they can do. They can do a shot. They can do a shot like this. That's all they have. So what you need to do when you get lobbed is run next to the ball. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you want to leave the ball as you're running to your left. Okay, watch this. I'm going to get lobbed. Watch this. Next to the ball. And now I can hit a forehand. You saw that? Very easy. Keep your feet moving. Attack it, Anna. Come on. Anna Valis, come on, get in. What about this? Anna, beautiful job. That's how you run down a lob, you see? Come on, on the run, go. Control that forehand a little more. Anna, I'm gonna clean her finish on the forehand. Better, not sloppy, clean. Again. Anna, it's kind of like a slap shot again. It's very horizontal, you're slapping the ball. I like you to control this area a little more. Good. Here we go. Good, Anna. Again, up. Attack, get in. Anna, attack, get in. Anna, what's wrong? Here we go, Anna, up. And volley. Again, continental grip, please. Overhead. Good work, nice. The issue sometimes on your forehand is that the, the sloppiness is right around the contact. And it's almost like you're, you're, you're slapping someone like this with the hand. Like you're hitting and I see the racket coming through here. And you finish very shallow here on this side. So that's why I keep saying finish clean, make a clean finish. Like, like, like we always practice, clean finish all the way to the top here, elbow pointing forward. Like put more control around the contact. Maybe I, think I stopped a control because I loosened it up so it because when I squeeze and there's a contact, then it hurts. Well, you so I kind of like let it, I'm faking it. Yeah, right to well, it. you don't want to do any extremes when it comes to tennis. You don't want to hold it with a death grip right. and squeeze it, the racket to death, but you also don't want to be too relaxed. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in the middle, hold it naturally, a natural, natural hold of the grip. Here, put your racket, put your racket like this. Let me do a test. Put it here. Now, now I'm going to push on the racket. And put it in front, like put some, put some pressure on the racket. I'm going to push on it. Does that hurt? No. Okay, do it again. No. Does that hurt? No. No? Okay, what about, what oh, about? This way it hurts. Okay, this. so so I when think. When I hold it with my. All right, so see, so here's this. what happened. I don't think you have tennis this. elbow. I mean, go to the doctor and get it checked out, of course. I'm not a medical professional, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you what did make sense to me, what happened, was one of your slap shots overextended your wrist this way, you overflex the wrist and you pull something here. You want to keep playing with the, with the hurt arm? Why don't you take just like a few days off and ice your arm because it doesn't sound like tennis elbow to me. No, it's something it's, it in It sounds muscle. like a muscular thing. Muscular. But again, this is a reminder that even today when we were rallying, there was a tons of forehands where you, you did a sloppy finish. Yeah. So you got to control the finish. You got to make a clean finish on a clean as clean as possible. Maybe don't hit so hard because I told you, when you hit super hard, you really lose control of the arm. The arm kind of does its own thing. Mm -hmm. So slowing down helps a lot to be able to control the ball properly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, Anna, it's time for you, it's time for you to, to ice the arm, okay? Yep. All right. Sorry, sorry about that. <laughs>